Osaka, Japan, we're going to show you the new part, the old part, the delicious part and the fun part of this second largest city in Japan. Osaka is mostly known for its shopping and nightlife activities but also as being one of the foodies most favorite destination here in Japan. We just got out of the house here in Osaka in Japan and we stumbled in our first kitchen already here on the streets of the old town and this kind of restaurant is called the Yakiniki which is a traditional barbecue uh, restaurant. Here you grill your own meat and vegetables on a small grill in front of you. But actually, because we had a long time deciding on a menu what we want to get, we decided to get... Um, Let me see. Ooh. The broth is very rich and very sour because of all this lemon. Mm. And the noodles, they're like gooey and sticky and kind of slide down your throat and the broth gives you kind of like a punch in the head to wake you up in the morning and to make you go and explore the whole city of Osaka this is very good it's a sour soup cold soup and the noodles are very very velvety interesting very unique so there you have it. Whenever you don't have any idea where to go or what to eat, just pop into the first place that you find on the street and the food is going to be good. What did you think about it, Mike? Uh, liked it? Liked it, yes, of course. And now we can continue throughout this uh, interesting looking, looking neighborhood and see where we can uh, find our way today around Osaka. Right, very, very close by to the eating place. We stumbled upon a shop in front of an us and uh, the owner invited us to go in the back because they have a garden. So now we are exploring the garden. It doesn't look like a Japanese Zen garden, but it's like a different kind of a garden. It's a more abstract one. Oh, there's a cat also. <clears throat> Hello. Hi, cat. And we have a well. Mm -hmm. Okay. University of Arts. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, here's a small guy. This is a very artsy, artsy kind of a garden. It's very interesting. They were very nice to tell us, like, go, go in the back. It's really nice. It's really pretty. And we're like, okay, we're gonna go in the back and bring you guys with us. This is nice. The same well. Okay, let's get back out on the street. This is nice. Oh, peaceful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. It's very interesting. Lots of knickknacks and yeah. Wow. And buildings. This is so cool. <laughs> this guy. And this guy, we have to go a second time, okay? Yes, and they're all... Oh, and he also did it. Yes, it's animated. Okay. Robots. This is so fun. This is so fun. Okay. Tomasaku University of Arts. So this is a full artsy environment in a very, very small shop here. In a small Michael or Geisha figure and yes. we're back on the street and the reason why I was tempted to go inside was that thing on top of there the lady kind of looming and sitting down Kokomo okay interesting looking uh, guest house slash cafe slash uh, museum of everything this guy has here on the streets of Osaka oh something happened here so this is a very interesting Zafara too. Yes. Okay, old side of Osaka. I like the rooftop, the last thing, the rooftop. Mm -hmm. And dog boots, 
Sen Mai Chin Bangai. Yes, we are in Dobut Sen Mai region. And apparently, Dobut Sen Mai Chin Bangai means something. I, know. I think so. There's a lot of uh, izakayas left and right. There's a lot of karaoke places left and right. There's a lot of a lot of a lot around here. And a lot of shops closed now because it's still early. Most of them open during the evening. Yes, and during the evening definitely it's a different vibe around here. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of a lot of a lot. But there's already like some people inside um, drinking beer and singing karaoke, and it's uh, now it's. Almost afternoon. Yes, so it's very early. It's very early. So they start in the middle of the week on the afternoon. That's good. Yeah. See, people are already preparing to go inside. Let's stop a minute for a minute. Check out the design here. The mural. It's a forest oh. with animals. Oh. It's the same uh, info shop. It's the same uh, thing maybe as the place that we went inside. Same owner, because it has the same name. Okay. <laughs> Shirts, um, hairdresser, owner, it's his name. More shops, your kimono, I think they tailor make your kimono here. Japanese traditional clothes, how about for souvenir? Traditional clothes. Okay. Someone, I don't know, someone told me the clothes here are very expensive. For a reason. I'm like, why? Some cakes here, I don't know what the cake has. Uh, we feel in More art and craft stuff. These are handmade. Okay, not much going on, just people going on and off from work. Maybe hiding in one of these izakayas for a day, drinking some beer, going to some karaoke. It's pretty hot outside, so. Rather than staying out and work in the field, work on the, I don't know, streets or whatever, just hide inside the Nisakaya and just enjoy it. Yes. Whenever you have a busy day or a busy morning, why go to work? Go to the Nisakaya, have some fun, and then go to work maybe. And then it's gonna be a more interesting day for you going forward. Okay. And it looks like we have reached the end of this nice looking uh, market kind of walkway kind of area. So from here, just around the corner, through the miracle of time, we are going to be transported to... Gigi, do you know where we are? Um, in Osaka. Yes, we are in Tenji Park and that behind you is the tallest building out of all of Japan. This one? The yes. tallest building in Japan? The tallest building in Japan, yes. 300 meters high. The tallest building in Japan here in Osaka. Wow. I, I, I always thought that Japan has like many skyscrapers and things, but like apparently this is the tallest one of them all. It's pretty hot outside today. I can see and oh. the water is coming. <laughs> so are you brave enough, Gigi? Okay, I don't think I have much choice at this point. Okay. Push. <laughs> okay. This is what you do on a hot sunny day. Oh, you play okay. like those kids there. See? She's way more braver than you are, Gigi. <laughs> yes. You play like the kids here in the park and enjoy the nice water and enjoy the nice weather. Sure. Very good. And now, just behind this park, we have our next point where we have to go. And we are now at Shinsekai, which is the old city center or the old downtown area where the, all the people are gathering and all the happenings are happening. And come with me, Gigi. I want to show you something weird because here everything is here available. You have a small little Doraemon kind of a thing and going onward you will see the magic of Osaka around with small shops on the right side 
where people can get some food and a nice looking guy over here and the biggest octopus here in the world Men with two corn dogs, more octopus. This is where all the colors and all the neon lights are shining. We have the Buddha bars, we have the Bolsi. where you can catch the balls like at the festival time in Kyoto if you remember and a lot of nice things over there this is literally the most colorful part of uh, this is literally the most colorful part of entire Osaka what do you think so far Gigi? crazy, let's go on watch out because the truck is coming Okay. And more squid. Hello, Konnichiwa. More squid. More machines and arcades. Some kind of sumo yokozuma with the tiger. And the mother shop of all the sumo restaurants around here. We have it over here. Whoa. And here also a lot of corn dogs. And Gigi, turn around. Whoop. This is like the view. Wow, this is epic. Of the Hitachi no, Tower. No, you feel you're in Osaka. Yes. And we can go yeah. this way. We have fugu fish here. What do you think about Osaka so far, Gigi? Based on this, it's pretty crazy. Super colorful, the most insanely colorful place I've ever seen. Yes. Maybe except India, but like yeah, on a tie maybe. And look, you have some cranes, you have a turtle. And a lot of street food stores. Wow, this looks so beautiful. Right? Yes, tempura. Inside, you see like a wooden restaurant, like a wooden yes. place, like a, a full on um, kitchen, this full on display kitchen, um, Izakaya bar drinking place. Nice. It's really cool, too. More ball machines. Shooting range. Shooting. Huh? Shooting. Shooting. Wanna shoot Gigi? I don't know. <laughs> Do you think you're lucky? Yeah, we can yeah. try. You can try? Okay. Yeah, you can try. Okay, he's a very good grammar. Okay, let's see. He's very good. He's a pro. He loves dance, you know, and he's very Okay, let's see. Okay, anyone. Yeah. Oh, 
no shooting. No shooting. Oh, okay. Okay. You want to shoot or I shoot? You shoot. Okay, okay I shoot. Let me see if I can. Yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Okay, Gigi, this is your prize. Mine? <laughs> yes, I work hard for it. Okay, yes. I don't think it's worth 500, but it's definitely it's really worth the experience. It's a translation prize, so thank you. I don't know what this is, but... You have to try it now. I have to try it now. Okay, I'll try it now and then we can check this place out because it looks so pretty. It's a very interesting... The biggest cheese puff in the world. Good? Right? Very salty. It's okay. Mm. Not the best, not the worst, but it's okay. Okay, Have nice. Good taste. Very good. Change your taste, yeah. I think it's doable. Okay, you wanna finish it? No, it's yours. I want it for you. Oh, oh, oh. What? Mm. Very good. Hmm, fishing. From what I understand from this place, you come here and you fish for your food. And maybe we want to go get here, grab some uh, dinner a bit later. This neighborhood is called Shinsekai? Yes. Okay, what does it uh, mean? Shin, I know, means new, and Sekai means Sekai. Okay. So, new Sekai. Something. How old is this neighborhood? Very old. I mean, I know it's from at least 60s, 70s, maybe older, I don't know. And the tower over there is the tower that is like Osaka's answer to the Tokyo Tower. It's their TV tower and it's still working, if I'm not mistaken, as a TV tower to this day. Oh, very interesting. Lots of information. This, so apparently you have like, on the street that leads to the tower, you have huge massive restaurants, left side, right side. We're trying, everyone trying to attract, like to attract their their own customers. That's pretty interesting. World tour. People are on the world tour. That's very nice. Oh, and we have here a monkey. 
kind of. Okay, and more octopus and the tower. And more izakayas over there. Yeah. There's uh, another. This is pretty interesting. Like what I like about the uh, shops here, there many of them have like this big, uh, huge kind of logo there behind the tree. Um, and you can go inside, use a passport, and buy the tax-free stuff, right? Which you're not allowed to use like before until after you left the country. So you can justify like all your expenses with the bills and everything with the receipt. But it's a very good way to come here and purchase stuff. As you guys probably saw uh, our experience in Tokyo, that was a really good uh, experience. So we're right now under this Yosaka Tower. Bye. Ooh, it looks very nice. Yeah, it has a very interesting, colorful display. I like it. And it's more chill here. <sighs> As yes. you guys can see. And you see in the night time, it looks very nice. It's super colorful. It's way more colorful than the Tokyo Tower, for example. Okay. Which way you want to go? Because you have literally I three ways. That way, that way, and not this way. Okay, this is like this. <laughs> okay, no. Very good, Gigi. I like your decision making uh, capabilities. So, oh, ice cream. You want an ice cream? I would love to have an ice cream. You want to have one of these ice creams? Uh, one of these bowls. I remember this one. This one yes. like in Singapore. But I kind of want one of these things. This looks nice. Okay, you want to get an ice cream and I'm going to get the, the, the bowl on a stick? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going to get one of these. Maybe. Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Hi. Hello. Okay. Can we get it from here? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Um. One ice cream? Candy. Um, Hi. Strawberry. 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 Apple sand. Uh, how do you say one? Ichi. 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 Chokomoi. Chokomoi. Yes. Hi. Do you know how to say three sixty? San roku zero. San roku zero. San roku zero. Yes. Oh, very good. Roku ju. Roku ju means sixty. Eh. Eh. Hi. Ten yen. Arigato. That's so sweet. Mm. Cheers, guys. Let's try it first time. It's kind of a handmade okay. ice cream, probably. Interesting bowl looking thing. Gooey, chewy. Want to try? It's like uh, marzipan. Uh, kind of. How do you call marzipan? Marzipan. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's Can you try like marzipan. I think marzipan is something else, though. We should, we should call it something else. Mm, marzipan. I don't know how to call it in English. Better than marzipan. <laughs> yes. Good. Interesting looking That's balls. Good. Interesting looking... Chewy, uh, chocolate coated. Ice cream. And balls. Nice. Good investment. And now we can continue onward with our exploration. Interesting ice cream too. Mm. More shooting gallery, no more. <laughs> I think all these shooting galleries are designed for you to not win anything. But at least the other guys they were nice and they give you like a consolation prize. Because you literally have like a small um, cork at the end of the gun and you have to shoot with it something. And that gun doesn't have that much of a power to shoot anything. So, I don't know, I think it's more of a gimmick for the kids. And then again, to not get upset, they give you something at the end. That was cute. I mean, don't hate us, hate the game. Yes, don't, don't hate, hate the player, player hate, hate the game. game. Very good, okay. Gigi. Let's see, what else Jinx. do we still have? Here. We have another barber shop. How much is a barbing, barber experience here? Uh, yes. 
I think it's a similar place with the one in um, Malaysia. In a way? Yeah, I think it's similar with the one in Malaysia. Japanese cup food toys. Mm -hmm. I remember this from Tokyo. We have Mario, more Mario, and more things. Interesting. How much is the Mario one? 500. Okay, I just uh, spent my last coins on the... <laughs> this thing. Sulawesi beans Japan. Okay. So they're bringing in uh, coffee from Sulawesi, Indonesia. That's nice. I've noticed something. Okay, I want to check this place out, Gigi. Okay. See, Gigi, we have the shooting Sega, the shooting... I used to play this when I was a kid. We have non-stop action. Okay. We have Mario, Street Fighter. <laughs> we have Glass City, which I never heard of. We have Bomberman. Okay, what oh, happened? Oh, Bomberman. Oh, I want to play Bomberman. This is so cool. I lost all my childhood playing this. Is that point? Is it going? Ready for 100? Yes, 100. Game over. Take my money! <laughs> Take my money! Why? 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 Wait, wait, wait. Here's the mushroom, here's the mushroom. Okay, okay, okay. This is the original game, guys. This is the 
how people were playing it before before having computers and television and internet I mean we had like they were coming here from here continue continue no continue no continue this was how it all began video games industry it's its beginning it's right here okay I don't want to play anything anymore. I'm hot. It's very hot inside here. Even the camera is getting hot. I'm sweating like a pig. I think people I here. Play I did. I played the together with you the okay. Alien vs Predator thingy, okay. which we both lost. Okay. Yes. Oh. And I wanted to play the machine thing. I wanted to play Pac-Man, uh, Bomberman. The Bomberman was not working. So yeah. At least you had fun playing Mario, and we played together Alien vs Predator. So this was Shinsekai and right around the corner from Shinsekai we have another place where we're supposed to go and through the miracle of time and transportation we are at the castle the Osaka castle is behind me and we're gonna go inside so let's go Gigi this castle is massive Gigi it also has a moat just like the castle in Hiroshima but this moat is more bigger 75 meter wide moat to be exact huge immense imagine people trying to swim in this moat yeah with full armor on and uh, not happening and then trying to scale this walls of the moat That's crazy definitely not happening okay and now past the gate whoa gate number one and now time for gate number two. Hey, these are also like defense mechanisms for uh, against invaders. You have here a square. This huge stone. And this is the gate. And that was actually, by the way, the oldest building in the entire compound. And now over there you have the garden, the Nishonmaru garden, which. I don't know, it's very hot outside, literally, we are melting, so we decided to go around the garden and go this way on that small bridge, which looks like that, to go inside. And here used to be a second moat, because because why not? Because the Japanese are pe people are smart. They put two moats so that you cannot go inside of their castle. And Osaka Castle is one of the most important ones, so... Nice. Okay. Another interesting thing I can tell you about, there are like two pillars here, and they were used to um, signal the shift change for the samurai. Okay. So there was like a big drum here that was sounding and was... Yeah, that was sounding every time the Samurais had to do a shift, chain shift. Okay, and now past the Samurai checkpoint, we have arrived going inside the courtyard of the castle. So, see you inside the courtyard of the castle. <laughs> yeah. yes. Where are you from? Romania. Yeah. Romania. 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 Where is it located? Romania. Europe. Europe. Near, Europe. near Ukraine. Uh, near Greece. <laughs> yeah, near. Kind yeah. Of. yeah. Similar. Uh, you, Ukraine, maybe. Romania. Yes. Romania. 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 People call it here Romania, so, not Romania. This is your first time in first Japan? First time in, yes. in Japan oh, and first okay. time in Osaka. Yes, first time we're seeing this castle. I think castle is the third generation. Third so generation. just, uh, can I have uh, one minute? Uh, sure. sure. Okay? Yeah, of course. Are you a guide or...? Yeah, I'm a voluntary guide. A voluntary guide? No money. <laughs> okay. okay, what is your name? Name? Uh -huh. Setsu. My name is Setsu. 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 Oh, Setsu. nice to meet you. Setsu I'm Gigi. He's Michael. Setsu. Uh, Michael. 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 So let's talk here. Uh, yeah, you can see the castle Yay. over there. Yes. Uh, Chris, yes. do you know why it's green? 
Why it's green? I don't know. <laughs> it's a very good question. I don't know. You know? No. Ah, uh, it's made of uh, copper. Copper. So copper. Copper. Yeah, yeah, copper rusted and green. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nagoya Castle and this castle is green. Oh. And this was built 90 years ago. The first one was 450 years ago. Oh. But uh, he. Hideyoshi? You know Hideyoshi? Yes. Hideyoshi lost the war. Okay. So his castle was buried. Was buried. Uh, underground. Okay. So underground. they are digging now. Over there, white wall is they are digging. To bring it out? Yeah, this uh, stone. Okay. Oh. And castle the... burned down. Okay, when, castle burned down. When the fire. And the second one is this one. <coughs> so you can see this stone. Yes. This is the second one. Oh. And so, do you know how many years old? <laughs> Good question. I never. Five hundred years? Four. Four hundred. Four hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tokugawa era. Tokugawa era, yeah. Tokugawa era. And uh, he built uh, second, uh, ano, gene, second shogun built this one, but uh, just uh, forty years later, Sanda. Sanda ran fell down. Yeah. And uh, it burnt down. Okay. So there are no castles for 260 years. Ooh. Very, very peaceful. Yes, it's very rare in the world history. 260 years, there are no wars at all. No wars at all. Yeah, yeah. During the show, during the lockdown, when Japan was closed off. Yeah, yeah. You know very well. I know. Yeah, I know. yeah, yeah, yeah. So 260 years, there are no castle at all. Mm -hmm. And after Meiji period, people cannot enter here because. Military government, all this place. The whole. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the city mayor gathered donation from citizens. Okay. Oh. And uh, he built, he built this one, and also this one. Okay. This is the uh, military's office. Okay. It's a kind of bribe to okay. military. You know. Okay, yeah, get out. <laughs> so it cost twice. Twice as much as the castle. Twice as much. Oh my goodness. There you go. Yeah. That's a big one. And then the garden over there, and there is a lake, a okay. small lake, and you can see the double castle over there. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the best view of the castle. Yay! We have managed, together with the help of our lovely guide, to find this place. Ooh. After 12, you can have a beer on the roof. Over Beer there. on the roof after 12. <laughs> <laughs> after 12 o'clock. <laughs> You're very funny. Sister. And very nice view. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> but a double castle you see from there too. <laughs> 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 so please go inside. I cannot follow you because I'm not the curator. So sure. I cannot guide you inside. Sure. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank, much. Much. Thank, Thank you. Be careful. Thank you. you. Thank you. And just like that, of the miracle of time, we went to the castle and we have arrived all the way to the top. And from here, you have the beautiful view of the entire region on the west side, on the east side, on the south side, on the north side. Everywhere you look, you see the beautiful city of Osaka. This is lovely. I totally recommend you guys should come here and visit. Yes, you learn about the Hideori Totokomo family, how he got old, how he got born. You see a collection of armor, you see a collection of samurai swords, you see the tea room, the famous golden tea room, and you have a lot of artifacts here that you can visit. So now, Gigi, we have to go somewhere over there. Yes. Through the miracle of teleportation. We are in the kitchenware street. Not only Osaka is the street food capital of Japan, but also someone has got to cook that food and who else than the chefs. And this is where they are buying their utensils. Including the huge katana over there. Wow. Okay, and bone sauce. All sorts of uh, food. For dumplings, for example. If you want to do dumplings, make dumplings, so you get them from here. You get your knives from here. You get the pots from here. All sorts of pots. And, and the takoyaki cast iron yeah. thing. And the spatulas and all the knickknacks and everything else. These are like all the funds for your shop. These are here all the storage facilities or like storage items. 
and grinders and mixers and coffee makers and This is another beautiful shop, like this beautiful katanas. If you want to buy yourself a Check out the one. Damascus wow. on this one. Wow guys, this is beautiful. How sharp is that? Like, and that's from a meteorite? It's made out of meteorite? Yeah, that's a meteorite there, see? Yeah. This okay. is one million yen, guys, this one. Okay. Well, one million katanas for And this is a half million. <laughs> like knife. Yeah, that's a tuna knife. Right. Not for sale. God, this is so beautiful. See? Let me show you how they sharpen it. Yeah. Hi. Oh, I think they can come on the other side. Is it dangerous? Can I see? Mm. Oh. I think it's sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Now, of course, it's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Now we're making it even sharper. Okay, can I? Mm. Very interesting. Oh. What is the name of this knife? Honesta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was uh, uh, Honeski. 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 Yeah. It's for meat. Mm. Ah, uh, meat. Um, chicken. Oh. Okay. Mm. For multi purpose. Chicken. No. Chicken. Hmm. Chicken. No. Bone. To. No. Okay. Meat. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Fish. No. No. But, uh, Beef. Chicken. Chicken. Ch chicken, 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 chicken. You've chicken. been trying to tell me yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> was... <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. There's so many. Chicken knives for professional. Gee, this is my favorite one. Easy. Mm -hmm. Check out the rough finish, then the Damascus layering. Wow. And then on this side, he has put his signature. Wow. It's an art. And it's only 6,590 yen. 60. 60,590 yen. Okay, 600 bucks for one night. Not bad. These are for professionals, so these were fish or filet, saw. They're so beautiful, guys. Tax free, also, you can get it tax free. Meat beaver, <laughs> also with a very beautiful Damascus pattern. Wow. 152. Yo, some some of these are like as much as a second old second hand car in Europe. But they're beautiful and they're like, there's so many shops here. You can get yourself a very good quality blade and made by um, Japanese uh, craftsmen. True, very true. Um, and aprons too. See? Aprons and like, teapots there. Oh my goodness, all these shops are so cute and very, very well designed and organized. Feels like, I don't know, I'm in hot heaven. It's like, I don't know if I'm doing it justice by showing it on the camera, but I'm doing my best because there's so many things going on here. 
and it would be impossible to share it to you like you know just in a single walk I'm just trying to show you as I see it Anpan Man <laughs> Okay, so his name is Anpan Man, not Doraemon. Doraemon is the blue one. Michael, can I get one of these? Which one? This one? Yes. Oh, hey, that's big GG. I want the cat. The cat is cuter. Did you? Yes, no. it's going like... Gong, gong, gong. This one? Hey! <laughs> hey, very good. Okay. This one or the, the, the big sign? I uh, say this one with the guy with the shrimp. Yeah. Okay. Lots of stuff around here, did you? I want a fish like this with the gong. A Why fish? Not? Yeah, or a pond like a that. A gong fish? Oh, these things. The bamboo stuff. I think Marina wanted something like that. I think, yeah, we could get something like this. Okay, and more stuff inside. Yeah. <gasps> My god. I will go broke if I start spending something here. This is the, the car the car thing, you know? Yes. The baseball game from Hiroshima. Carpu, carpu, victory! Carpu. Hey. Oh guys, so much stuff. And uh, chopsticks. It's Big awesome. rubber ducks. Oh yeah, that's, that's the Rice balls. Uh, dinosaur meat. Kimono, tires, vending machine. And Holy cow, Gigi! Oh my god, we're in a different neighborhood. This is insane. There's like an izakaya and a fish place there. This is overwhelming. If you're coming here and you have like. Don't get too much money when you're traveling. Oh, look! Donkey! The shop that we visited before, remember? Yes. Donkey, 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 body. And we're somehow now kind of close to what's happening there. That's some kind of intense discussion happening there. Hello. I don't know guys, at this point I'm like, sure, <laughs> anything goes. This is a different kind of overwhelming rather than uh, India, for example. <laughs> takoyaki, do you want some? Takoyaki? I have an idea where to get some good takoyakis. Okay. I know a place, which is somewhere just around the corner of the place that we are here but first we have to cross i think through this sea of uh, colorful things see how good that thing is see the kyoto tower the osaka tower okay. and a lot of stuff inside candy strawberry people are obsessed with strawberry salted ginger oh this more anime and more games more arcades and more games oh what's going on okay it takes a very strong person to come here and be dedicated you can make a video that's dedicated for one topic but otherwise like japan is the hustle and bustle of everything you need to capture the vibe and the craziness of the whole thing Yes, there's nothing is better to capture the vibe and the business of the whole thing by walking through the whole thing yeah. and showing you all the nice signs and neon lights and everything. Yeah. There's like a... What do you call it? Hedgehog. hedgehog. There's a smoking room, there's a hedgehog, there's a convenience store and a McDonald's with all the other signs. And there's a sushi hand over there. And a lot of sushis. These plays are incredible. Here. I don't know. I, I, feel, I do feel a bit of And I like these uh, small signs on top of the every restaurant in Kyoto. Oh, pachinko, slot machines. 
Okay. More gambling, more Michael losing his money. Oh God. Okay. Okay, let's show the people on the street. Yes. Dai Toyo. And... Fugu fish. All the fugu fish in the world. I don't know, Gigi, I think we're lost. Wait a second, let me take out my phone so we can catch our bearings and then we can continue. Oh my god, guys, that's crazy. A few moments later. Okay, uh, we got out of that area and I think we are now in Namba, yes. the new center of downtown of uh, Osaka. Yeah. The old one was Shinsekai and together they are connected by the boulevard that we just crossed. And now we're entering Namba, which looks totally different than uh, Shinsekai. You can see it's a bit on the newer side because the stuff here are newer. Yes. And we're trying to show you like the vibe of the city and um, reach the end and have some food by the end. Yes. Because we're heading to Dotonburi, which is the most important area here in Osaka. This is the place with all the happenings. And somehow we have to cross through this maze of uh, shops and uh, cats and uh, melons and uh, more cats and uh, more melons and more... Sound and... Uh, how do you call them? Bowling pins and Tenyen stuff. And Japanese TV stuff and more massage and everything here possible to reach to the other end. It sometimes is incredible how such a crazy city has like such a strong Zen culture as well in like the country. Yes. So all the fruits between the two. I mean, remember when we first started the video in the morning? We were in a neighborhood which is similar to this one, also covered with glass, but looked different. Then we ended up in the Shinsenkai, which looked totally different. Oh my god, yes. Then we went to the castle, which looked way different. And now we ended up here, in this area, which is... As you can see. Yes. <laughs> way more different. So, the more deeper into Osaka you go, the more different, deep, different it gets. Tokoton. American Hotel. Okay. American. American. Very good. What? Kamakura soup with noodles and noodle soup. Okay. So we, after exploring the whole historical, traditional, cultural, like lay down kind of a historical part of Osaka, we're gonna head, as Michael told you, now into the street food area and. Welcome to the street food area of Osaka. Yes, the we street are now food capital on Dotonburi. The food yes. capital of Japan. And around here you have everything possible. That crab is moving. I can see the crab is moving. Everything is moving around here. Look, there's a cow there. And there's a clam there. And there's a dragon. The clam is moving too. And there's another dragon here. Okay. And food displays everywhere. Okay. I want to go a little bit over there because there's something I want to see. Okay. So we are on the busiest food street of, um, of Japan. Yes. In the food capital. Whatever food you can imagine, they got it here. From takoyaki to noodles to octopus balls to sushi to balls of steel and balls of balls and apparently here balls are a very interesting theme everywhere you go there's balls yeah everywhere there's balls and people eating balls in takoyaki and yes. just look at this guys what do we have here you have a sushi guy there a sushi guy he looks like he's crying <laughs> Okay. Oh, this one, yes. This is the one I wanted to show you. But there's a big one. Come. Oh. Hey. Nice. 
And we have also the clown. The clown is a symbol for uh, gluttony somehow. Eating and uh, spending your money, all your money at your own while eating. So if you see one of these clowns, that means that here is a place where you can spend all your money easily. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, the, the crowd is me moving. There's so much attractions everywhere. This is a big overwhelming pasta and a, look at the giant taco A giant freaking bowl, meat bowl, or like a squid bowl. They're basically a pastry thing with a what a pastry. Thing. Like I don't know. And the mother thing. of all squid. With a squid inside, yes. This is a huge. Oh my god, this is so much stuff going on. As you can see a lot of people are out hanging out and we're try they're trying to grab a plate of food. <laughs> yes, I'm trying not to move the image. Oh, look, that's a pig. There's a pig running there. The weirdest thing I've seen today. This is a Shiva Cafe. Are these dogs? Yes. You go in and you pet the dogs and the cats. Yes. I don't like that. It gets close so though. This is some kind of arcade again machine, not anymore. What is going on? This is like claw machine. Chloe clothes machine. Yoza. I'm trying not to move the camera too much. See another one of these uh, small circus characters or clowns. Flavors of South India even. Itila. South India. That's so cool. Chole Bapura. I think this sounds idli. This sounds very familiar. Masala dosa. We're gonna find this uh, soon in our... After Japan, you're gonna see a lot of the... I need a, a lot of uh, other kind of cuisine. I've probably seen before, but. Oh. Meiji! Meiji! Uh, castle over there that we've wow. seen so far. Wow. And we have the Tokyo, the Kyoto, uh, not the Tokyo, the Osaka Tower. Yes, Osaka Tower. The Osaka Tower. Yeah. Meiji. And the Osaka. Castle. Okay, I want to show the people the vibe of the street and uh, Okay, sure, as you said. <laughs> oh, another huge moving mac mechanized 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 crab and food displays everywhere. See? Uh, Food display is so sweet if you guys want some. Very interesting. From what I understood, this uh, food, uh, the food displays are made by kids we in high school. Okay, we made it. We made it? We made it. Over here. We just made it? We just ma did we just make it? Oh my god, this is I think the, the busiest. Oh. Another European looking. Another looking building. I would see something like this in France somewhere. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. I don't know how, what, what else I can say to you guys. Yes. And just like that, we are in the heart of Osaka. Dotonburi, in the middle of the people, in the middle of the street lights, in the middle of everything. Oh, we made it! Yes, you and the Glico man. This is the one that I wanted to show you. This is a lot. And we're not in Kansas anymore. You have a revolving, uh, kind of like a Ferris wheel over there, donkey. You have the Glico man, you have the, all the nice things, which in the nighttime they get even more beautiful. I don't know, 
It's insane. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have any explanation for what's happening around now. Oh my god, did you look back there? Holy mother of people, Gigi. That's a ton of people. And they're all heading this way. <laughs> I think we've broken Gigi. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is so much stuff. Oh my god. Okay, let's see the view. The view. The view over Dotonburi is like this over here. There's one guy living his best life there on the boat, like with his hands like this. This is this, this is that, this is this. Like, get on. Hey. This oh. is a sense over overload, like Tokyo. This feels like Tokyo, but not quite. What do you think about this area compared to Shinsekai? This is way more crowded and way more light than the other one. The other one was like a bit more traditional. Here it smells like, let me tell you what it feels like. It smells like food. Uh, it feels very alive. So many people and so many stories coming together, like interconnecting. Uh, everyone came here to see, to eat, to uh, spend time with their friends and enjoy a good, uh, good food and the, the tradition. A lot of the people here are actually, I think, Japanese tourists and a lot of foreigners too, but uh, I don't know. The thing what I like about this place is the fact that everybody is doing his own thing. These guys there are taking pictures with the Glicoman. These guys here are preparing for something. Yeah. These guys are taking pictures with the river. Those guys are having the time of their life on their boat. The guys over there are eating. One guy with the flag. One guy with the baby stroller. Everything. Everything of everything of everything. This is the mixture of Japan. This is the mother load of Japan. This is like the boat load. This is the. Japan. The pinnacle. Okay. This is Japan. Yes. We've been saying that in, to uh, in Tokyo, in Kyoto, in Hiroshima too, and yeah, in Osaka. Is here, like I mean, is the boatload. I don't know. I've never seen so many straight lights and so many lights and uh, billboards and shiny stuff and moving stuff and. I no. <laughs> My brain is starting to break also soon. Ah, uh, okay. We're starting to ram ramble and babble and. Uh, lose our words. What do you guys think about that? Oh, I just realized there's like one guy there with the, the, the huge statue there that's sitting with the back now. It's actually revolving up there. The big thing with the two yakitoris. Yeah. Hands, it's revolving. I can't wait to see how it's gonna be sunset now. We're gonna be here till evening. Till yes. the sun drops, so... And preferably go look for some food because uh, we've been walking around the city so far and we haven't had like any proper meal Let's so show the view to the people. Yeah, we should get some food yeah we're gonna go get some food now okay. let's show you the view and the people here and you guys can draw your own conclusions okay so we just arrived in a revolving sushi restaurant to yes. end the visit in Osaka and how do you revolve the sushi around here Gigi? what do you do? like this you just, you just grab from the thing and then you, that's it? Yes. You have okay. here a menu and uh, they're going to tell you like the type of fish that you okay. have so and the color party. is a different price. Yeah, okay, I take one of these for you. Thank you. And one of these for me. Thank you. Sardines. Okay, sardines. And... Salmon. Okay, salmon. And salmon. You want the red fish? I'll get it later. I'm just, I just want something now. Maybe, yeah, this one is good. Uh, can you get one of these for me? Okay, I get the red uh, <laughs> fish squid. And we get some, uh, quickly before it goes, some wasabi. Okay. And soy sauce? What do we have? We have here. Perfect. We can make ourselves a nice... And, yeah, concoction. And we have a push button and uh, hot water will be poured. Like we can fill out our matcha. Soy is done. We must more soy sauce. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
We require more soy sauce. Okay. Gigi, there you go. One for you. And one for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. The best. And the rice is a bit warm too. Mm. The best of the best. Gigi, you had the best idea ever. Come to the revolving sushi restaurant. The food is delivered to you. You don't have to do anything. You just sit down at the table and enjoy why this conveyor belt does its thing. Okay. Very nice. There are a lot of people. And apparently this place is pretty busy because uh, there are a lot of people here. Yeah. So, that being said, I think uh, it's time to end. Yeah. Perfect. One for you and one for me. And we crown, we crown our video from Osaka with a corn thing, Yamajig. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, guys. Yes. <laughs> Bye. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.